bright beauty every student matters working with the text answer the following questions what do you understand by the flash point of a fuel we have discussed it many times in the chapter flash point is a point at which a particular fuel starts burning it is a temperature at which a particular fuel starts burning i am not writing the answer for this one because we have discussed it discussed the flash point many a times in the chapter question number 2 what are the some what are some common uses of fire you can write on your own how can we use fire fire can be used for uh, for cooking we can use fire for cooking what else what else can we use fire for we can use fire for the electrical items like the fan electrical items right what else we can use fire to warm our houses in winters right so these are the pound pointers you can frame these sentences on your own these are the uses of fire you can also write if you have some other ideas second in what sense is it a bad master what is the answer for this one it is a bad master if it gets out if it gets out of control then it can engulf every thing it can cause enormous damage okay so fire is a bad master if it gets out of control it can engulf everything and cause enormous damage coming to the next part match items in column a with column b first is fuel fuel will match with lighted matchstick air coal burning coal wood smoldering paper cooking gas what do you think fuel will match with fuel will match with coal wood and cooking gas correct second oxygen what with oxygen match with air third heat what will heat match with lighted matchstick if you light the matchstick you will get heat correct so lighted matchstick burning coal smoldering paper with all these things heat is attached question number 4 what are the three main ways in which a fire can be controlled or put out so what do you think what are the three ways three ways were are either you take out fuel or you take out oxygen or you take out heat right so let's write the answer for this one three things are needed to make a fire fuel oxygen and heat first as three things are are needed to start a fire there are three main ways in which a fire can be put out in each one of the three things needed for burning is taken away for example we 
can take away the fuel. If the fire, if the fire has no fuel to feed on, no burning can take place. The second way of putting out a fire is to prevent oxygen from reaching it. No supply of oxygen means no fire. The third way is to remove the heat. If the temperature can be brought down below the flash point, the fuel stops burning, right. So, this is the answer. I will quickly uh, speak the answer for you. Three things are needed to make a fire, fuel, oxygen and heat. First, as three things are needed to start a fire, there are three main ways in which a fire can be put out. In each one of the three things needed for burning is taken away. For example, we can take away the fuel. If the fire has no fuel to feed on, no burning can take place. The second way of putting out a fire is to prevent oxygen from reaching it. No supply of oxygen means no fire. The third way is to remove the heat. If the temperature can be brought down below the flash point, the fuel stops burning. Coming to question number 5, match the items in box A with those in box B. Let us check out the boxes. This is box A. First, to burn paper or a piece of wood, small fires can be put out when water is uh, spread on fire, a carbon dioxide ex ex extinguishes the best thing, space left between buildings. Box B, it absorbs heat from burning material, lowers the temperature, reduces the risk of fire. With a damp blanket, we heat it before it catches fire to put out an electrical fire. Okay, so we'll, we'll put down, we'll give the numbers. Actually, the numbers are already written here. So, the first one is to burn paper or a piece of wood. What do we do? We heat it before it catches fire. If we have to burn a piece of paper or a wood, we will heat it before it catches fire. Next, small fires can be put out by with a damp blanket. We all know small fires can be put out with a damp blanket. Third one, when water is spread on fire, what happens when we put water on fire? It absorbs heat from the burning material. It lowers the temperature, reduces the risk of fire or put out on electrical fire. It lowers the, it absorbs heat from the building mater burning material and lowers the temperature, both of them. A carbon dioxide extinguisher is the best thing. Best thing to do what? To put on an electrical fire. Last one, space left between buildings reduces the risk of fire. Okay? First, second, third and third, fourth and fifth. Okay? Question number six. 
Why does a burning candle go out when you blow on it? I will not write down the answer for this one. I had explained during the, when we were reading the chapter, if there is a candle and there is a flame on it and we blow, then what happens? The fire goes out. Why? Because with our blow, the, the air which is surrounding the flame, the temperature of that air goes down. It cools down and that is why the fire goes off. The answer would be, when we blow on a burning candle, we remove the hot air around the flame. This causes fall in temperature below the flash point, so the, so the fire goes out. Next question, spraying water is not a good way of putting out an oil fire or an electrical fire. Why not? Why do you think it is not right? I will write down the answer for this one. However, I have explained it, but I will quickly write down it. Write down the answer for this. If water is sprayed on to an oil fire, the oil will float on the top and continue to burn. When oil is as it is lighter than water, so it comes up and floats over it. But when it's it's he it's 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 hot, the it has got fire, the temperature of the oil it goes up and it becomes more lighter. Okay? Continue to burn. Water can carry oil with it and spread to a larger area and continue to burn. Water should also be not used on electrical items because it is a good conductor of electricity and the person spraying water can get electric shock. Okay? This is the answer. If water is sprayed onto an oil fire, the oil will float on the top and continue to burn. Water can carry oil with it and spread to a larger area and continue to burn. Water should also be not used on electrical items because it is a good conductor of electricity and the person spraying water can get electric shock. Question number 8. What are some of the things you should do to prevent a fire at home and in school? So, what all ideas can you get uh, by which you can prevent fire at home or school? The answer... First is we all know that we should uh, use, we should keep fire extinguishers in the houses. But let's write down, at home we can prevent the fire if all the electrical appliances are earthed and insulated. If all the appliances, electrical appliances are insulated, fire can be prevented. There should always be a bucket of sand to put out small fires in the school the training 
I'm sure we all must have done uh, fire drills in the school. That is a training. That is a fire drill by which we 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 understand how to you know uh, escape or how to prevent uh, uh, damage from fire. So the training should be given to students how to put out. fire the school should also have fire extinguishers which should always be ready for use okay i'll quickly uh, 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 speak the answer at home we can prevent the fire if all the electrical appliances are earthed and insulated there should always be a bucket of sand to put out small fires in the school the training should be given to students how to put out the fire the school should also have fire extinguishers which should always be ready for use next working with language read the following sentences to burn paper or a piece of wood we heat it before it catches fire we have read it this earlier we generally do it with a lighted match this also we know we do it by a lighted match every fuel has a particular temperature at which it burns every fuel burns at a particular temperature which is called as flash point we all know that the verbs in italics are simple present tense when we use it we are not thinking only about the present we use it to say that something happens all the time or repeatedly or that something is true in general when we are making a statement where we are using simple present tense we are not talking about just that particular moment or just that particular present no we are talking about present in general or a fact you can say or something which happens repeatedly so let's read out the sentences find 10 examples of verbs in the simple present tense in the text fire friend and for and write down them them here do not include any passive verbs i will give you you have to write 10 examples i will give you 3 from this chapter fire friend and for we have to find out verbs which are in the form of simple present tense okay uh, make sure you don't use any passive verbs for example this is what we call fire you can write oxygen comes from the air this is all simple present tense something which are the facts something which we know and third one you can say we use it to cook our food from our homes in winter and to generate electricity rest you six you have to do on your own question number 2 fill in the blanks in the sentences below with words from the box you may use a word more than once you may use a word more than once okay so we have to fill in these uh, blanks from the words given in the box first gandhi ji's life was devoted to the dash of justice and fair and fair play the answer would be cause the gandhi ji's life would be, was devoted to the cause of justice and fair play have you insured your house against what against fire we get the insurance done of our houses against fire third diamond is nothing but dash in its pure, pure form what is diamond carbon in its pure form is diamond so the answer would be carbon 
if you put too much coal on the fire at once you will dash it you will smother it smoking is said to be the main dash of heart disease main cause if you smoke it is the cause of heart disease when asked by an ambitious writer whether he should put some dash into his stories somerset morgan murmured no the other way round some fire as in some kind of interesting thing into his stories she is a dash copy of her mother carbon copy we all say that he is a carbon copy of his dad right so carbon copy it is often difficult to dash a yawn when you listen to a long speech on the value of time smother it is often difficult to smother a yawn question number 3 one word is italicized in each sentence find its opposite in the box and fill in the blanks first you were required to keep all the doors open not not what shut we have to write the opposite of the words which are italicized so here the italicized word is open the answer would be shut second pupil what mark did i get in yesterday's maths test teacher you got what you get when you add 5 add and 5 and dash 10 from the total a opposite of add would be subtract answer would be subtract third run 4 kilometers a day to preserve we have to change this one opposite your health run a lot more to dash it to what do you think what should be the answer increase it in fact the opposite of preserve is not increase preserves opposite would be destroy not increase no destroy it if a doctor advises a lean and lanky patient to reduce his weight be sure he is doing it to dash his income what is the opposite of reduce increase next the world is too much with us late and soon getting opposite of getting getting and dash we lay waste our powers getting and spending spending this was a word search opposites by wordsworth question number 4 use the words given in the box to fill in the blanks in the sentences below from this box we have to fill in the sentences the cat chased the mouse dashed the lawn what do you think should be the answer across the lawn the cat chose chased the mouse across the lawn we were not allowed to cross the frontier frontier means border so we drove dash it as far as we could and came back happy so we drove along because we were not allowed so we can't passed we can't uh, drive past it we drove along it next the horse went dash the winning post and had to be stopped with difficulty the horse went past the post it is not difficult to see dash your plan anyone can see your motive through your plan anybody can know what your motive is right so through your plan last one go dash the yellow line then turn left you will reach the post office in 5 minutes go past the yellow line go across go along go through go along 
when you walk along the yellow line and then you take left, you will reach the post office. So along. Speaking and writing. Look at the following three units. First, reorder the items in each unit to make a meaningful sentence. First, we have to reorder. We have to put some words here, some words there, so that the sentence makes sense. Next, reorder the sentences to make a meaningful paragraph. Use correct punctuation marks in the paragraph. First one. And 18 fire tenders struggled. The fire began on Monday to douse the blaze till morning. What do you think would be the first uh, sentence to make it a full sentence, meaningful sentence? The first would be the fire began on Monday and eight fire, 18 fire tenders struggled to douse the blaze till morning. In a major fire, over 25 shops were gutted. What do you think should be the first one? This one would be the first. Over, twen over 25 shops were gutted in a major fire. Third, but property was destroyed worth several lakhs. No casualties were reported. First one would be no casualties were reported. But property worth several lakhs was destroyed. Correct? So this is how we made the complete sentence. Read the following newspaper report. Alright, before we go come to the question 2, in this question the last thing is left. Uh, you have to make a meaningful paragraph and use correct punctuation mark. So using point number 2, Point 0.1, point 0.2 and point 0.3. You have to write down a paragraph. You can add your own words and use correct punctuation. Alright? You have to make, uh, if, if you have to put up some question mark, if it is an interrog interrogation mark, uh, question, if uh, it's an exclamatory question or a full stop is required or a colon or a semicolon is required, Put proper punctuation marks. Alright? And make the paragraph. Coming to question number 2. Read the following newspaper report given in the box below. Fire station goes up in flames. This is a newspaper report. A fire chief was embarrassed when a station without a smoke alarm went up in flames. The building and a fire engine was, were destroyed in the blaze. Nobody was injured in the fire that was tackled by 30 firefighters in 6 fire engines from neighboring town. Now this is a report uh, from a newspaper where a fire chief was embarrassed. Why? Because a station was uh, ablaze in flames because there was no smoke alarm. The building and a fire engine were destroyed in the blaze. The whole building and the fire engine were destroyed. Nobody was injured in the fire, which was all tackled by 30 firefighters. 30 firefighters took uh, the fire down by whatever ways they could in six fire engines from neighboring towns. With this, we come to the end of the chapter. I hope you have understood how fire can be a foe how fire can be a friend. Fire is a friend and is useful to us when it is in, in our control and it is an enemy and uh, it it is a bad master when it is not in our control. So I hope you know how to keep fire under control and how to be cautious when, uh, you know, using fire. I hope you have enjoyed the chapter. We will be back with another chapter soon again. Till then kids, enjoy. Have a good day.